I'm Eduardo Vieira Neto, postdoctor associate at the Vocally Lab at the Division of Genetic and Genomic Medicine at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine. I'd like to highlight some aspects of our article that has been recently published in GCI Insight, Mitochondrial Bioenergetics and Cardiolipin Remodeling Abnormalities in Mitochondrial Tree Function Protein Deficiency. Summarizing our article, we worked with two kinds of biological specimens. Fibroblasts from humans, from TFPL shot deficiency patients, and also liver from a beta TFP mouse model. Both of these models, or better, the mouse model and the human cells, they were analyzed for, for lipidomics, especially phospholipids, cardiolipins, and other phospholipids. But human cells were also analyzed in terms of mitochondrial bioenergetics, that is, oxygen consumption. And what we saw, we saw a decrease in oxygen consumption of these human cells, and these cells were, uh, and, these, and this oxy oxygen consumption reduction was related to cardiolipin decrease and monolysocardiolipin increase, although monolysocardiolipin increase was sex dependent. And the beta TFP mice also they had a cardiolipin decrease and a monolysocardiolipin increase that was also sex dependent. What makes our article important in, ter in terms of the pathophysiology of TFPL shot deficiency is that the mitochondrial trifunctional protein, it's not a trifunctional protein because it has a fourth function that is monolysocardiolipin acyl transferase. And this links fatty acid beta oxidation to cardiolipin remodeling. And TFP alsha deficiency, it has unique features, especially unique complications in relation to other fatty acid oxidation disorders, especially peripheral neuropathy and retinopathy. And our hypothesis is that monolysocardiolipin acyl transferase disruption may be linked to these complications. Moreover, there are, as, uh, as you may notice, two deficiencies, a generalized TFP deficiency and an L-SHAD deficiency. And moreover, we have alpha subunit and beta subunit, two genes, Several variants are, are reported in both genes, but the influence of these uh, variants in cardiolipin content and composition is presently not thoroughly investigated. Cardiolipin is an unusual phospholipid. It has a conical shape that is responsible for the formation of mitochondrial cristae. And in mitochondrial cristae are located the electron transport chain, complexes and supercomplexes. Consequently, if you have a, a dysfunction of the electron transport chain complex and supercomplexes, you could make a link between complications that are unique 
to TFPL shot deficiency like uh, retinopathy and peripheral neur neuropathy, but even cardiomyopathy, although it's not um, unique to, to TFPL shot deficiency, it's found in other fatty acid oxidation disorders, could have uh, a contribution of cardiolipin remodeling dysfunction. We worked with dermal fibroblasts from several, seven patients, and these fibroblasts were analyzed in terms of mitochondrial bioenergetics in a seahorse extracellular flux analyzer. And also mRNA was quantified by digital droplet PCR. These fibroblasts were also analyzed in terms of protein content, alpha and beta subunits by Western blot. And the, the media, the spent media from uh, these fibroblast cultures were, were analyzed in a tendon mass spectrometer to determine the uh, anasio carnitine profile. And from both these dermal fibroblasts and liver from the beta TFP mutant mice model, they were analyzed for lipids by a liquid chromatography mass spectrometry. Lipids, especially cardiolipins and other phospholipids. And what we found, we found that truncating mutations in both alpha and beta subunits, they had as a consequence uh, an important decrease in both alpha and beta subunit proteins, independently if the mutation, the truncating mutation was in the alpha or in the beta subunits. And um, fibroblasts that had only missense mutations, like the common L-SHAD deficient uh, fibroblast that you have uh, there, A22, it's the, it's the common L-SHAD mutation homozygous, or 854, that is an HAGHB um, compound heterozygous harboring only um, missense mutations, uh, the levels of protein are preserved, both alpha and beta subunit. In terms of uh, mRNA, at the top, A and B, you see that the L-SHAD mutation mRNA is, is there, is preserved, as you see in B in orange. 847 that has um, a splice site mutation and a missense mutation, you see that both are expressed as you see two clusters in D. So uh, this a splice site mutation was not um, subject to nonsense mediate mRNA decay. But a frame shift mutation in HHG8B, it was affected by nonsense mediated mRNA decay, as you do not find copies of its mRNA, as you see in H. But the missense mutation of HAGHB, you, you can see mRNA uh, in F. In terms of uh, mitochondrial bio bioenergetics, all cells had reduced levels of maximal respiration and resp spare respiratory capacity, all of these cells. 
but two cells were specially deficiency, deficient. The common LSHAD mutation, the LSHAD deficient cell, and the frame shift mutation uh, harboring HAGHB uh, cell, H61. So, so you have them not only affect in terms of maximal respiration and spare respiratory capacity, but also in terms of basal respiration and ATP linked respiration. In terms of lipidomics, we saw a decrease of cardiolipin in all cells, all fibroblasts from humans from males and females compared to their, their controls. LSHAD generalized TFP deficient, HAGHA and the HAGHB. But um, in terms of monolysocardiolipins, we saw that all the male cells analyze it, they had increased level of monolysocardiolipins. But in, in terms of the female cells, we saw that most had normal levels of monolysocardiolipins and also normal levels of monolysocardiolipin car, cardiolipin ratio, as you see in panel E. But the, the common LSHAD mutation in a female showed an increase in monolysocardiolipin cardiolipin ratio, although the absolute value of monolysocardiolipins uh, were not um, different from the female controls. Beta TFP mice showed a similar result from in com comparing in compared to to humans. Uh, cardiolipins were decreased in both males and females, and uh, independently of age. So, in the upper part of A, if you, if you go to the right. You're, you're going to be to see more blue, meaning that levels are decreased compared to white type. White type is brown or red. But when you go to monolysocardiolipin, to the right, you find the younger females and males, and they showed an increase, an increase. But uh, older females that are more in the center, down in the center, you see that you have a similar uh, aspect in relation to white type. So here also we are finding uh, a variation according to sex, and, but also uh, an age-dependent variation. Concluding, truncating mutations in both HHHA and HHGHB, they have as a consequence a significant decrease in TFP subunit proteins in both alpha and beta. And this has a correlation with the deficits in mitochondrial bioenergetics that was especially um, confirmed in a frame shift mutation in the HAGHB. But LSHAD deficiency, the common LSHAD mutation, although it did not affect TFP protein and mRNA, it affects significantly mitochondrial bioenergetics.
and also we saw in both in both humans and in mice a decrease in cardiolipin levels in mitochondria isolates and in both humans and mice there was an increase in monolysocardiolipins in males but in females the at least in um, in mice we do not analyze this in humans it was age dependent so concluding we we think that drugs targeting mitochondrial bioenergetics and cardiolipin metabolism can have uh, a differential response according to genotype genotype is very important but also perhaps also in terms of sex age is something that we have to investigate more so if you want to to see or to read uh, more details of our article it's available already online thank you for your attention